Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today what we are going to be doing is what you see on my screen and if this is something you are interested in creating with me, all I have to say is stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get started in the design, I want to recommend Canva Pro to you and this would save you a lot of time. The link can be found in the description box below and um, just in case you are also looking at just trying Canva Pro for free, the same link can help you to do that. So yeah, this is what I have for you and um, let's dive straight into today's design. So this is the design we are going to be creating inside of Canva and the first thing I'm going to be doing is to click on add a page okay and the dimension is 1080 by 1350 because I know some of you get to mention that I do not get to uh, mention the dimension I'm working in and the main reason why I'm using this and I always use this is because um, you know we get to push this on Instagram that's why so as simple as that okay so after you've been able to set everything up we are going to change the background of your design so you, initially it will be white but we will change it to the brown we have over here so this is the color code 9c5836 okay this is the color code we are going to be using so you just have to set it in then you come into your photos okay and in photos just search for ATHENS A-T-H-E-N-S okay you search and you find this interesting image uh, we have so you can use any image at all if you're on the free version of canva you can use uh, on splash or you can use pixels or you can use pixabay any of these ones should be able to help you you understand yeah so after you add your image you know you just increase the image okay the size of the image uh position it nicely okay i would leave it this way okay then you come into edit image and in edit image you come to adjust so that we can adjust the image not to adjust your life okay so um <laughs> we increase the blurriness to nine okay which i think is cool and yeah this is what we have at the moment so then we just search you know come back into photos and search for sexy lady okay so once you search for sexy lady you should um, see a lot of interesting images but the one i use is the same one i want to stick to so uh, you would have to take your time and go through to find the image you would want to work with you understand so i would come into my recently used images okay so this is the image over here and if i'm to right click on the image so if i right click on it you can see sexy lady posing against blue background so you can also type all of this out in the search box okay then um, i believe you would find it so the next thing is come to edit image and you just have to click on remove background okay or bg remover if you're on the free version of canvas some alternate tools are remove the bg and stickermule.com slash trees so this should be able to help you remove the background of your images then you upload it into canva okay yeah so um you can see canva has been able to remove the background of our image so we click on apply because i'm satisfied with what is done for me and i will position it somewhere here okay oh my goodness i didn't wait for the whole design to save so i just have to do it again and it should it should take less time now okay so we just have to like i said it will take less time click on apply and you can see it's saying saving post so it means i just have to wait until you know the design is saved so the design is saved now and we can continue so i'll increase the size of my lady here a little bit and uh, position her here beautiful okay so what we are going to do next is click on the image come to edit image and we are going to edit this image also a little bit with the contrast you know, first of all reduce the brightness a little bit okay you understand then with the contrast you increase it a little bit okay to 25 you know this makes the image look very wild you can see how now the colors are popping and to boost the colors we are going to increase the saturation okay then with the tint i will drag the tint because i want a brownish look i will drag the tint to negative 59 okay to have something like this okay now everything you know it's set now and then what you have to do now is to open your browser so let me drag it you know this over here so you just have to go to google 
okay dot com okay and um, it should open then you'd have to search for coconut okay coconut leaves png you understand so that's what you have to search for then come to images okay then you just have to um you know with any of them you like just download them and um, if they come with a background you'd have to remove the background of it okay so you understand okay so let me just close this up then i come into my uploads and um, i already have them over here you can see so i add my first coconut leaves over here and so i took it from google and i'm not skipping any step over here so once i add it i come to edit image okay because this is looking through green and that's not what i'm looking for so we come to adjust and we are going to you know the saturation we drop it down a little bit just to decrease um the colors in the image okay then with the tint we also drag it you know somewhere over here the contrast we also reduce it a little bit and yeah so you can see how this is looking or what you can do is in the description box below i'll just click on any of this and you can see i've done the same thing so there's this code okay so you would find it in the description box below you understand so once you copy it you click on the image come to edit image okay when they adjust click on see all and you know with whatever code is there clear it once you clear it it sends the image back to default you understand then you paste the new one over here so you can see that this one is blur because i added some blurriness to it so what i can simply do is turn off the blurriness for this for now okay okay so that we have um this then we are going to add the second one so this is the second one i downloaded and i'm going to do the same thing to it edit image come to adjust and adjust you come here select or clear and paste the new one then with the blurriness i send it to zero okay then i rotate it and i drop it here okay so what we are going to do now is simply creating duplicates of the design and spreading it across okay so i click and duplicate okay then you rotate okay then drop it here okay duplicate rotate you know so at this point you just have to be creative okay so you duplicate you move okay then you rotate you know depending on how you want it and we also have another one over here so we select it okay and duplicate it like i've done here okay then we rotate it you know you can rotate it also somewhere over here you understand so this is what you know the simple thing the simple thing you are going to do not the simply thing then what i'm going to do next is i'll come into um element okay in element i'm just going to search for grass okay so you can search for grass in elements come to photos okay and in photos you come to the filter option over here then we want the cutout only so apply filters you see this so this is the one i use i selected it and i also came into edit image but at this point we've done a lot of copy and paste so select any of the um leaves over here come to see or and copy okay the filter code come here come to see or and select all and paste the filter code over here you understand so that we have this right here then we increase it okay so you can see what we have over here but this is looking through so we're going to increase the blurriness of some of this okay and then maybe um with the leaves you can increase the size of some of them okay then you increase the blurriness just to add some depth um into your design you understand then this one also we can increase the blurriness of it so i'm going to skip the whole arrangement and things like that so that um we don't get to waste any much time so you can also pause the video arrange it how you want it okay and once you're able to arrange it the way you want to you can just resume the video to continue with the tutorial okay so i've been able to arrange it how i want to and i hope um at this point you've also been able to arrange um everything according to how you also want it to look so you can see that i've been able to spread you know some of the leaves on top over here and um i also spread them around this um area and also you know i made some of them blur and some of them still look sharp so that's the uh, main thing you need to do so i'll increase my lady here a little bit come to position and center here 
you understand so now we have this interesting looking design so the next we're going to do is add our text so press t on your keyboard if your t is on vacation or if your t you know is in school by this time you can just come to text okay in text you just have to click on add the heading and the text i'm using is sql sounds okay so i use zingo bingo i don't know what it means but i just thought it sounded cool so that's what i'm going to still use okay so zingo bingo okay you understand yeah <laughs> okay so single bingo then i select you know the two of them change the color to a lighter color you understand and drop it down here okay then um before we do anything else let's come into element and in element come to all and let's close this up okay because we don't need it anymore click on c or no, don't click on C or I want to show you something. So right click and um, ah, what am I saying? <laughs> take your time, take your time. So search for white glued crumpled rectangle sticker. You understand? So I just click and um, place it over here and I'll reduce the size. Okay, and place it, make sure it's on top. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. And yeah, this is looking very cool. Um. What I'm going to do is I will rather move the um, bingo over here and reduce this slightly. Okay. So once you do that, okay, you can see it's even difficult to see the separate. Okay, maybe for you, but on my screen, it, the you know all of this looks too light and um, I can't really tell the difference. So to make it easier, I click on this, come to edit image, and in edit image, I'll just have to search for shadow. So I click on shadow and the shadow i select the glue shadow okay so i click on it again and i increase the size increase the blurriness reduce the transparency you understand it should be a slight something slight not too much okay then i paste but before i do anything else i would want the design to save i mean you know it's saying saving post so it means if i attempt anything ah i'll find myself wanting you understand so um i said the suka i most of the things i use or the words i use i do not understand them so maybe in your country if it means something just let me know you understand okay so duplicate your text okay so i just duplicate this one and um, i come to the sequel sounds and the sequel sounds you know they are various varieties so i just click on um the bold head and i reduce it you understand and i place it on top over here you can see we can't see the difference so i select the color and change it to a darker color and i can still see the soccer i don't know what it means honestly speaking and this is just a tutorial so if it's an insult in your account in your language just let me know so that i do not use it next time you understand so select all of them okay no don't select all of them here select the first one press and hold shift select the second one still holding shift select and select then you can rotate a little bit uh increase the size too which is cool and i'm um, positioning it this way so you can see how this is looking so now to make the design look interesting i can um position some of the things in front some of the leaves so i selected this one and i'll just move it to the front no not to the back but to the front and i can also maybe move this one somewhere here okay but bring it to the front and um, with this leaf over here you can also bring it to the front and maybe you can move it up a little bit but bring it to the front so you can see how everything's looking we can still see some of the brown of our background behind so to hide it i can just duplicate this okay send it to the back okay just to hide um you know a uh, plain background and duplicate and i can you know do the same for this you understand because we we want to hide everything possible okay it's just like we are performing a surgery on them our design <laughs> okay so um yeah so this is what we have been able to do so far and i added some extra text over here so i just copy and paste this one also here okay so you can see this is what we have at the moment and you can see this is looking very sharp it's because i didn't take my time to increase the size so i can come to edit image and restore 
to original you understand and we'll just you know if it happened to you also we can do this but if not you can just watch me do it so come to shadow glow uh, you know add it again i click and i just reduce the transparency okay and increase the size okay so i think i have i have to rather decrease the size and also decrease the transparency that's all okay then we added i added some few things okay this is looking blur a little bit okay so i just click come to edit image come to adjust and adjust i would use the blurriness to make the image look sharp so negative seven is cool looking very sharp then i just added some text okay so um I, let me just select the text behind okay so duplicate it and paste it here okay it's just the same text i use so i duplicate and paste it here so i select all of it and um increase the size okay so once i increase the size i just position it somewhere here okay then come to position and send backward 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 okay so this is what we have over here then we can also um add a second text so i just paste this here okay and select this copy and i just paste this here this is something the reason why i'm not showing you how to do it because it's something you can easily do and i think i don't really have to show you how to add text and all of that because you know that's one of the easiest things you can do in canva so i would make this one um this way what did i do okay so maybe i'll just drop the two down a little bit okay then i can change the color of this you know back to the lighter color you understand but if it's not working you can just make sure you use the color that works and increase the size and send it to the back so come to position okay then click on backward backward yeah and i believe you know it's gone to the back so this is what we have been able to create in canva and i hope you found it helpful so let's take a look at the two designs yeah this one looks okay the um image pops out more but this one not so you know very easy and very simple all we simply need to do is to you know select our image cop hair and increase hair more okay so that's that's it just in case you are wondering ah it's not looking the same that's all you just need to do okay then i drop this a little bit you know so this is what we have so i can just now click on this drop it down and click on this one too and drop it down very interesting and um, very easy and simple to do so yes this is what we have been able to create inside of canva and i hope you enjoy this um, tutorial i was about to say video but yeah so let me know what you think about this in the description box below if you want to support the african geek there are some links down there if you want to upgrade to canva pro there are some links down there and this is a recommended tutorial i would love for you to check the name is benjamin always remember there is no limited creativity i would see you in my next video